Hey y'all, welcome back to Moments with Miss Amy. I am so glad you joined me. And hey, Happy New Year! That's right, here we are on the cusp of 2022. We made it. <laughs> well, as we're coming in to this brand new year, I thought this would be the perfect time to maybe talk a little bit about what we want to take into the new year and what we want to leave behind. So I've got a little story that might help a little bit with visualization, and I'm going to relate it to myself. Perhaps as you hear this story, it'll make you think of some things in your life. So for me, I have something that I've tried to learn to overcome. It still gets me. Sometimes I'm still working through it. But that is, I sometimes beat myself up more than anybody else could. Yeah, for real. The negative talk to myself sometimes, not good at all. And so one of the things that I envision is I'm carrying a backpack. And in that backpack, every time that I say something negative to or about myself, thinking, oh, you shouldn't have done that. What were you thinking? Or thinking something negative even towards someone else, which makes me feel uncomfortable. That's a negative thing. It's not right. It's not a good thing. Any of those things, I just imagine throwing one more rock, one more boulder into my backpack and all that negativity begins to pull me right down. And that's not good, right? Well, the reminder that I don't have to do that and that I can forgive myself when I make a mistake and I can learn from it and I can move on, that I can apologize to somebody when I say or do something wrong that hurt them intentionally or even unintentionally. That's going to be another thing. And as I do those things, it begins to pull those rocks out. And suddenly I'm standing up a little bit taller. Okay, we all know I'm not very tall, <laughs> but a little bit taller than I was. <laughs> and it helps me to feel lighter, to feel better. And there's a scripture that runs right along with this. And I think it's a great reminder. Lamentations 3, 22, 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So as you hear that and think about that, I want you to realize that God's mercies are new every morning, which means every morning you start with a clean slate. And I think one of the greatest ways to be able to get that to stick is that every time you wash your face in the morning, and you start off clean and fresh, that that's a perfect time to start off clean and fresh for yourself. Think about how you can give yourself mercy and how you can go into 2022 in a much more positive and less weighed down state. Now that's something that we can do. We can make sure that we don't take that negativity into 2022. We can work on our self-talk. We can make sure that it's a little bit more positive and we can make sure that we're not taking in things that need to be taken care of now. If there's somebody that you need to ask forgiveness, why wait? I mean, is there a better time than now? I don't think so. Let's get this done. Let's handle those tasks, those check marks so that we go into 2022 in a much better way. So we're not taking in the negative. We're not taking in the hurt, anger, frustration, unforgiveness, all of that. Let's wipe that all out. Let's wash that away and have a brand new fresh start for 2022. So what should we bring into 2022? I mean, if we're getting rid of all of that stuff and we're talking about how we're going into this new year in a better way, how can we do that? What can we do? Well, everyone talks about setting goals and goals are amazing and they're awesome. And if you have something, you have a plan of action and you have a completion date, that's absolutely a goal. And if you have a step and way to do it, you can do that and you can accomplish it. But there's something else. What if you just start even today with a brand new habit? One of the greatest things you can do is to start gratitude as a habit. Every day, 
when you wash your face and you think about how your mercies are new each day and you forgive yourself or, or you think things over and you go into something more positive, the other thing I want you to do is maybe say thank you. You could say thank you for three things. What are th three things that you're grateful for? I'm so thankful to be able to have air conditioning down here in Florida. Yes, I said that, y'all. I know, I know. Some of you are in places where it's like, air conditioning, woman, we need heat, okay? But down here, y'all, it's in the 80s today. We need air conditioning. And I'm so thankful for it. I'm thankful for the ability to be able to forgive myself and to be able to learn and grow and to move on. And I'm thankful for a loving husband who makes sure that he is here and supportive for not only me, but also for our family. See how easy that was? Three simple things. And if each day with that habit, you have three things that you're grateful for and that you speak it out, just watch and see how much your list grows of things that you can be grateful for. So, all right, just as a recap, y'all, we're going to go into 2022 much stronger, much happier, much more positive, and with some incredible habits. Make sure that as you do these things, that you acknowledge to yourself what a great job that you're doing. Because you are. And I'm proud of you. So I want to thank you guys for listening. I want to thank you guys for stepping in and doing some of the things that I suggest. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think and what things you're going to have gratitude about. And what baggage that you're leaving behind when you go into 2022. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead Click that little bell. It'll let you know when the next video drops. And I want to thank you again for joining me for Moments with Miss Amy.